Big thanks to George Parrish and son Skip Hire of Manchester who've supported me on this trip. So today I'm here in downtown Miami at a place called the East, which is where there's going to be a meet and greet between the city players, or some of them anyway, and the fans uh, who've been invited, they're members of the City Supporters Club. I'm going to get in there and meet a few of those people and, uh, and see what's going on. And obviously, thanks very much for continuing to subscribe. Just press the button down there. And I'll be doing a match day vlog for the City Bayern game at the Hard Rock Stadium, which is on Saturday evening. So thanks very much for watching. Um, let's go and find what the fans are doing today. It's so excited. I'm meeting them for the first time. I'm so excited. Like, <laughs> Is it a dream come true for us? In America, we don't have opportunity to, you know, see our players like this very often, so we're so excited, so thankful. What's it like being an exile bank? It's, um, it's funny because I never miss a game. Um, it's like I'm watching games back home at three o'clock in England. You can't, you can't get, you know. So I'm commenting on Facebook. What a goal! And they say, how do you know? You know. And so it's you just never miss a game here. And of course, the early ones, like the noon games in England, they're on seven in the morning or seven thirty in the morning. So literally, you just go, you know, get up, and watch the game, turn up the TV on, and watch the game. Still passionate about standing at games. I mean, that's sort of gone away now. Yeah, well, I hope it's coming back. Uh, I went to see Orlando City v uh, Chicago last season in a brand new uh, purpose soccer stadium uh, in Orlando. It's brilliant. They've got a standing area, just amazing. Fantastic atmosphere. So let's just hope we can get it, you know, get it back like Celtic have got it, you know. We are from the Chicago area, so we're members of the Chicago Man City Supporters Club. And we are so excited when the team comes to the United States that we plan our vacation around the city games. And you've so, made a deal with your daughter by the sense of it. We have. We haven't been lucky enough to make it to Manchester yet. So the deal is if she gets her grades up, we all go to Manchester in the spring to see them play at the Etihad. If she doesn't, we leave her with Grandma, and the rest of the family will go to Manchester to see the team play at the Etihad. You were playing then? Yes. So it's about your playing days. So, I started when I was little, and then I kind of stopped for a while. But now that I got to high school, I'm playing for the all-boys soccer team, and it's rough, but it's all worth it. Are you going to get the grades? Yes. <laughs> yes, she has begun to bring her grades up, so we're we're in a good place. It's working. Yes, yes, exactly. There you go. You've got all these players behind you. Oh, I know they are wonderful. So nice of them to give their time so that we can meet them and get autographs and photos. We're really excited. So why are you not up the signing Paul? Have you done many of these? I am passionate now, mate. You know what I mean? These guys can take a look at it. Yeah, we used to do it. It wasn't as organised as this. Um, used to get chucked out there into the lines then, but it was great. And you know what's fantastic for the fans to see it, and from a personal point of view, I used to love doing it. You need to get up there and give your autograph to this lot of players. Do they know who you are? <laughs> I'm not too sure, actually. No, to be fair, they do. They do. Um, which is nice, um, but it's a great occasion as well. We've been to Chicago, New York, and now Miami. Um, beats working for a living, I'm a lucky boy. And you're off to China next week. Yeah, I'm back, uh, back for a day, day and a half, um, and then I'm off to China. Um, which, yeah, again, is great, you know, I love representing the club that I love. Um, you know, I was lucky enough to play for a long time for them and then now to work for them now is fantastic. Hi, Ian. I'm so excited to meet you. Um, my name's Grace. Um, I'm from Burnage. I've been a City fan since I was, like, four years old. Um, my dad's 80 and he's a City fan. Um, I went to Juicy High School in Moss Side. Um, which is right by the, the ground. So after school, I'd go to the Junior Blues Club and, um, you know, I always went to Main Road with, with my dad. And, you know, since I've moved to Miami, I've, um, I go home as often as I can. I fly home just to watch the games. Brilliant. So um, I was there when we got the cup and I was there when we said goodbye to Yaya, which I wish I hadn't now. But... <laughs> But um, yeah, planning on moving back to um, England quite soon. Uh, like my dream is to have a season ticket and just go to all the games when I'm retired in all city that's pulling you back to England. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah, it is. 
I love them. Amazing club, aren't they? Yeah, I, I absolutely love them. And like, what's happened now? It's just incredible. So um, you know, I'm so proud as well because you know I've been there when they were like right at the bottom. So to see them kind of like come come this far is um, it's quite emotional, really. <laughs> It'll be nice to see you back in Manchester. Yeah, no, and honestly, it's like I just wanted to meet you, really, so that's why I'm here. Oh, thank you. Can I have a hug? Yeah, <laughs> off camera. Oh, okay. Oh, you have to hold this. Because I have to hold my hand. Come on, kids. Man City, South Florida uh, started uh, just about two years ago. Uh, we're located in Boca Raton, Florida, which is about uh, 40 minutes north of here in Miami. Uh, so we're basically the host a chapter here for Man City uh, supporters, and yeah, we've we've grown of course ever since uh, the first league title in 2011, and then uh, just keep growing and growing, and, and I think you know you see that around the world, but it's definitely true here in South Florida. I know South Florida is not far away from Cuba, actually, it's not too yeah. far, <laughs> and you've got quite a lot of Hispanic population down here. Yeah, is that why the interest in football, soccer, comes from? Yeah, so South Florida is a little uh, tricky, right? Because uh, the Hispanic, you, well, the Caribbean, first of all, it's a lot of baseball. Um, so the the ones that do come over, uh, the Jamaicans, they're uh, big football fans. Um, but obviously, you get a lot of influence from uh, South America as well. Whereas the biggest population of supporters here in South Florida that were Hispanic were Barcelona, Real Madrid, and that's what they're into. But now with the Brazilians and Argentinians and things that play for the city, you know, we see we see a huge uh, growth. You know, from that whole market, yeah. So you're looking forward to the game, big style. Absolutely. I mean, it's a lot cheaper than when we have to travel to Manchester, so this is great having them in our backyard. <laughs>